Kia ora Ka ao i te ao challenge tuatoru. And it was about referring a friend. There was quite a few that I referred. I didn't stick to three because I thought there'd be others that would be more interested in giving ka ao i te ao scholarship a shot. Mainly because there's, there's so many that I know that, you know, would really benefit from it. Uh, yeah, the, it was very interesting. Um, actually, I had faced this before with different ones. You know, when you're selling something, some of them are yes straight away, and then you've got others that they kind of hesitate. It's either because the fear of taking that leap, or or the other one, which is having that time that quality of time to be able to juggle in between what they're doing at the moment and doing the scholarship program. And I noticed that with most of us, you know, the the value of time is, you know, it's really tight these days, especially when you're trying to juggle mahi, tamariki, your whole whānau, as well as, you know, anything extra that you decide to commit to. So, yeah, uh, that's what I uh, realise with some, uh, depending on what it is, it's either a service or a product uh, that people are being considered to, you know, give a shot. So, yeah, that was a good reminder with different ones. Some are still deciding. Uh, but, yeah, I went over and, you know, tried plenty of different people, some that actually do need this because uh, they haven't been successful within something else and may need some help with making improvements in their own life with trying to do business, some that have tried business and failed, some that, you know, that have the potential that they already have something or business idea or already a business service or product in place, but not quite there yet. So yeah, there were different ones from different backgrounds that I approached to give Ka Ao Ite Ao uh, program a shot. So they all received uh, a text message or a uh, personal uh, PM message with the links. And yeah, there were a few said yes, and there were some that were uh, hesitant and of course there were some that say no so you've got got to be also prepared to uh, get those ones you get the odd ones that say no uh, that's the choice so yeah that's all part of sales and uh, you know with with different ones that haven't done sales before some hesitates oh they're gonna say no but you never give up, it's like uh, from different ones, such as myself, when you're doing sales, you've always got to be prepared for the, the ones that do say no. And uh, you're going to come across that, so you, you might get one in every 10 that might say yes for different sales. But you get used to do it, doing it until you get the yes. So that's what I've learnt over a period of time that you will get the odd no, but it doesn't mean stop, it means keep on going until you get the yeses. So yeah, um, but yeah, I, I thought, yeah, it was a good reminder. Uh, even with doing different sales for years, <laughs> a good reminder, you, you get all those different types. Those that say yes instantly, those that hesitate but then they have a facado about it, then say yes, and then you get the one that says no. But yep, uh, yeah, kia pai tō